Oh, it's a short little video about a steam mop, which is broken. Um, I've been tasked with fixing this by a certain person. Didn't show the name, no name else. Um, the, um, it's one of these stupid little triangle ones we're supposed to get in corners, which is not very corner-like. Um, it's got this head here which goes through there. Like so. Which then attaches to the body at the end there. Clips in. And what happened is it was working okay and then it failed. And the steam started coming out around here. And after pulling the bottom piece off, which has this hose which goes on there, the other end of the hose here, I found had that little flange here broken off, that shaft was broken off in the hose. And this PC mounts in the end of this. Mounts in there. Just there. So that sits in there. Kind of like that. But not that way around. Um, yeah, so basically it's surprising design. The inlet side is that big. So that's a nice big orifice on that side. On that side, tiny little one because it goes inside the hose. So I actually think that's poor design in a way because it's restricting the flow so it probably doesn't work as well as it could do. Anyway, um, so that was broken off so I've super glued it on and I've also put some other glue around the outside to try and support it which is still drying. And um, once that's done I'll put it back together. I actually suspect this hose here is slightly too short because for that to break that would have had to be pulled. So it must be that the hose is a bit too short, so it's pulling on it. So when I put the hose back on, I'm going to not put it right down to the end, I'm going to bring it down about halfway on each side, which should give it slightly more length, so hopefully it doesn't break again. But yeah, it's surprising that even this um, mounting hole, see that one there's all broken? That's how I found it when I pulled it apart. And this one here, you just see that it's got a split in it. So that's already breaking. I mean, that's... Not very good quality, really. Anyway, it seems these steam mops are never built very well. So, anyway, that's that done. So, we'll see how it goes. All right, so I've just partially assembled this. It just drops all together to show this hose length. So, the hose normally goes on this end here. And if I hold that there, about halfway along, and then lift this up vertical, you can see the hose sticking at the top. Just there by my finger, hopefully. Just there. If I pull that up tight, almost vertical which is where it normally sits the hose is actually too short so it's probably about a centimeter too short which is why it broke in the first place so you could blame it on bad manufacturing okay so my solution to this is to cut out this piece here on this fitting it was like this curved like that but very high on this side here you can see where the line originally was Cut about a centimetre of that side out. So when it swings around, the um, pipe has actually got a slot to go into. Like that. That means it's actually given it effectively two centimetres more length on the pipe. So it's not being pulled around. I'll just, um, just take it in here. Let's, have a look. Let's try this. So I'll do that same test again. Hose is there. So I'm do it so you can see it. So you can see it comes around. And the hose sitting about there. So now when it goes vertical, the hose isn't too short anymore. Whereas before it was, because it was stopping at that point near the edge. And there's the groove I cut in. So that's, that fixes that problem. Okay, so here's the uh, unit back together. The glue is just about dry on the end there, so um, I'm just going to reassemble it and it should be alright. The uh, If you look here, you can see that cutout I put in there, that shape, where it used to just cut straight across here before, so we go between there and there. There's the cutout I put in. So when it comes down, the hose goes into the cutout, which is how it should be designed. Um, Try and get a better shot of that. There you go. Try 
lighting better. So there you go. So before it would hit there, and they'd be hitting on the hose. So at least now I can actually come right around like that, which is just about vertical, which is where it sits normally. So you know that's now not putting on the hose anymore. So I can actually get some flexibility out. So yes, that's the uh, design flaw. You can see how much stacks left in that hose now. So that's much better. Whereas before it was just pulling it tight, and that's what broke it. That's the only thing that could have broken it. Um, so yeah, I'll just finish putting it back together, put the screws back in, and that'll be done.